I know a lot of you have contacted me and said you wanted to see more on He-Man action figures, and that you wanted to see more of the characters from the Masters of the Universe toy line. And to that I say, patience. It's all coming, I promise. I want to cover several different toy lines in the show, but first I'm going to spend some more time talking about even more variations of the most powerful man in the universe. Yes, there are more versions of He-Man that I haven't even shown yet, but I'm going to show you now. In the last episode, I showed you all of the versions of He-Man that were available in the original Masters of the Universe toy line from the 1980s. But there were two more characters that I did not talk about that share the exact same sculpt. In 1983, Mattel released Faker. Faker was supposed to be the robotic clone of He-Man, built by Skeletor. The figure was practically identical to He-Man, but to differentiate him, he was given blue skin, an orange power sword, and an orange version of Skeletor's chest armor. He also included a small sticker on his chest under the armor that represented a control panel. The figure was an easy and inexpensive way for Mattel to make a new villain. And while this act is widely frowned upon by collectors today, Faker was a welcome addition to the line and still remains a favorite to most collectors today. After the He-Man cartoon series began in 1984, Mattel decided to release a figure based off of He-Man's alter ego. Prince Adam. Adam, again, is the exact same mold as He-Man, but instead included a pinkish colored power sword, a painted on white shirt covered by a red felt coat, and painted on purple tights. I myself always wondered how purple tights were able to hide Adam's secret identity, considering he looked just like He-Man otherwise. But as a kid, that didn't really matter. You saw Prince Adam on TV, so you had to have this figure. A few years after the original Masters of the Universe line and cartoon fizzled out, Mattel attempted a relaunch. A new toy line debuted in 1989 simply called He-Man, and soon a new cartoon series debuted to accompany the toy line, which was called The New Adventures of He-Man. Both the new toy line and cartoon were very short-lived. This new concept sent He-Man into the future and reintroduced villains like Skeletor, but also introduced new villains and new heroes. Most fans are not fond of this particular series. Most of them would just pretend it didn't exist. The line saw three new versions of He-Man. The first was He-Man's new look. Blue pants, golden boots with matching removable armor and a helmet, and a brand new power sword made of translucent plastic with a matching translucent plastic shield. This figure looks a lot leaner in build in comparison to the original He-Man figure. But one thing to notice is that the face still looks basically the same. However, aside from that, this really just didn't look like the He-Man we had all grown to love. In 1990, Mattel released the first variation of He-Man in this new line. Battle Punching He-Man included a power sword and shield, both different looking than the previous figure, and a more muscular build to the actual figure. He didn't have much of an action feature, really, but he did have an odd articulation cut across his chest, which allowed you to make a punching motion with the figure. Then, in 1992, we got the final version of He-Man, as this line was starting to die out. Thunder Punch He-Man is a lot different than the original Thunder Punch He-Man from the 80s. This figure included a different looking power sword yet again, and a different looking shield, along with translucent body armor. The figure did not have the cat popping feature that the original had. The only action feature he actually included was that classic power punch waist twist feature. The New Adventures line was definitely interesting. A lot of people do not even know it really existed, or they just simply pretend that it did. They felt a lot different than the original figures, but to be fair, they really aren't bad toys. Well, that's going to wrap up part two of the many versions of He-Man. Join me for the third and final part, where I'll take a look at all of the crazy versions of He-Man we got during the 2002 relaunch of Masters of the Universe. Until next time, take care everyone. <laughs>